Hello there everybody, Oimon here and welcome to Stories Untold. I keep wanting to call it Untold Stories because as a title that makes a lot more sense. But I think they wanted to differentiate themselves from that, so it's Stories Untold. It's kind of hard to see with the glow on that, uh, well, I think it's a VHS tape. Um, this, for the record, as, as far as I know, this has a sort of a retro aesthetic to it. Um, some of the reviews I saw said that it's clearly sort of following on from Stranger Things. Um, the game is actually a couple of years old. Like, this game came out in 2007, uh, 2007, 2017, I should say. Uh, so it's a couple of years old. And, um, but it's it sort of recently gotten noticed like you know I, I watch a, a couple of youtubers on a regular basis and um you know in terms of like let's plays and stuff and uh i think i watch about three maybe four in total i don't watch a vast amount but i watch about three or four and uh two of them like within the same week played this game uh so i figured so it i'll have a look you know it's got some good reviews a few negative ones but it's um I, I th the thing is, I don't know if this is like a true indie game or if this is a perhaps a triple A game in the guise of indie because I noticed when it was loading up it had Devolver Digital all over it. Now that could just be the publisher rather than the creator. It's hard to tell. But um, it should be good fun, should be interesting. Uh, for the record, this is all I got. So I mean we got four episodes, it says here four stories, one nightmare. Uh, when I was writing all this up, um, you know, I was like, I was thinking at, you know, these are four separate stories, are they connected? Because it didn't specifically state that, but I guess it is all supposed to be connected to one thing. So we've got the house abandoned, the lab conduct, the station process, the last session. So... I guess we'll see what happens. As I said, this game has a very retro aesthetic, and it's it's kind of point and click. It's you know it's a bit of a point and click puzzle game. Um, and you know, as I said in my tweet, uh, one of the things I want to do is after, now that I've sort of done with Metro Exodus, there's no like really big games on the horizon for me. I think um, Anno eighteen hundred comes out in April. I think it was. So obviously, I got a couple of months to wait for that. Um, off the top of my head, there's no other big things. I mean, uh, there are some releases that often sneak up on me. Um, but I've got a big list of games I want to play. And uh, technically speaking, I've still got Nier and CrossCode, like, on the go. I might go back to CrossCode, uh, may maybe tomorrow? We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. Um, I've got a busy morning tomorrow, and depending on how things go, I may end up too, like, just exhausted after the busy morning. Um to do a stream tomorrow. So we'll, we'll, we'll see where it goes on that. What's my phone beeping for? Yes, it's reminding me of what I've got to do tomorrow. Yes, thank you for that. You can go away now. Uh, yep. Uh, yep, okay. Yep, 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 okay. Uh. Oh, hey, Zero. Welcome, 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 welcome. Always nice to see you, even though I know you're normally asleep at this time of the day. Don't, don't, wait, don't come into my chat plugging your game, okay? I've already told you, I, I, I'm not really convinced I want to play your game on my stream, okay? I've got enough RPGs on my plate as it is without throwing your one into the mix as well. Okay, this is, this, this, this is not likely to happen statistically. I'll play it in my own time, I told you that, but I don't know if I'm going to be streaming the bloody thing. Uh, so we'll see what happens on that front. Oh, you'll get over it. Besides, look, you were, you were handing out keys left, right, and center at that gaming expo, whatever the hell it was, yesterday. So I'm sure you've got dozens of people just chomping at the bit to play your brand new game and to stream it live and all sorts of fun things like that, right? <laughs> Maybe, anyway. I mean, hey, look on the bright side, you got to uh, uh, meet the, uh, the angry video game nerd. Uh, what's his name? James Rolf, was it? I, f I forget his name. Um, but uh, hey, yeah, you got to meet him wearing an Ashens t-shirt. And so you said you're going to try to meet Ashens wearing uh, 
Actually, there hasn't been a single tweet. <laughs> well, you know, small indie developers take a while to get going. Is your game even like available? Like, is 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 it out yet? What's the official release date for it? I mean, you're not going to get much traction until the game is out. That's that that's like step one, you know. And I'm sure there's a bunch of like RPG Maker forums you can post in and say, "Hey, made this game, first attempt. You know, let me know what you think. Be honest, kind of stuff." I'm sure there's there, there must be a dozen forums like that. Of course, it's a question of whether or not you can even post your stuff, because so many forums are like, you can come here for advice, but don't advertise yourself. It's like, what's the fucking point then? <laughs> it's still work in progress, but I'm closing it. Well, you see, there you go. Anyway, yes, let's get started with this. So this is episode one, The House Abandon. Start. I have no idea where we're going with this. Sometimes you may need to look beyond the screen to progress. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit of stuff. In. Stories untold. Sounds like Terminator 2. Honestly, I was looking at that and all I could think of was Stranger Things. Because it's got a sort of a retro 80s aesthetic. Even the logo looks a bit like Stranger Things. So, uh, there you go. We're going retro. I feel like Ashen should be playing this game. It, it's, it's like it's a it's a modern game with a retro aesthetic. I feel like Ashen should be the one playing this. He'd be having a blast with this. <coughs> you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember it from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Okay. It says wait. Can't interact with anything. Can I type? Oh, I can type. Exercising would be actions would be criticizing the lack of accuracy. Probably yes. Um, so I told to look in the glove block. So yeah, I, I I know sort of how these things work. Look, look in glove box. The glove box is closed, but it appears to be unlocked. Open glove box. Inside is a key, a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. Note is from your dad. It reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also, found something you added for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. I will enjoy. Okay. That's not where the volume button was on that model of TV. Yeah, well, probably. Who knows how these things work. Does it even have a volume button? I don't think it does. Okay, um, press enter to continue. We pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home, park the car. Can we skip ahead on this? Apparently not. Okay, so we've got the key, so um, exit car. We open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Um, okay. Um, look at house. The lights are all off. No one else is here. Um, go to house. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use a key. We set the key and turn the door lock clicks open. Go inside. We step inside the front door. You enter the house of the hallway. It's dark, you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Um, turn on light. A click and nothing. There is no power. 
The note said how to restore it. Did it? I must have missed that. Oh, um. Step outside the front door. Did it say, did it say there was a, a generator? I, I probably wasn't paying attention. Here's the thing, I'm reading this stuff. I'm not necessarily paying attention to it. So read, read the note again. I just read down and read. Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. If I need to fire up the generator, do doy. Doy, I'm being an idiot. Okay, um, generator around the back of the house. Okay, so. <laughs> I'll wait for it to finish typing everything up. Ah, old school games. Uh, go around back of house. No, I didn't say go. Ah, old retro games. Go outside. Front door, blah, 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 blah. They, oh, um, go to yard. Take a walk around the yard. There we go. The yard has been well made. I need to actually read the text. That is, that is clearly what I need to do. I can't just skim the text. The art has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look at yard. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Look at generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and it's manually operated. Turn on generator. You switch the generator on. Any worse to life. The house is still dark. Okay. Um, go to front of. Whoops. Go to front of house. You walk back around to the front of the house. Yay! Success! I'm doing it, guys! I'm doing it! House is grand. It's perfectly much of trees. Blah, 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 blah. Go inside. Turn on light. Whee! The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as the upstairs going up. Um, look around, anything there? The hallway is a pleasant welcome, home, airy and fresh. Go to the kitchen. Walk to the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Very clean and tidy, not been used in a while. Um, go to utility room. The utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Um, ram door. <laughs> um, break door. Kick door. Go Hall. Kitchen in the living room. We'll check the living room and then we'll go upstairs. Go to living room. Spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look around. There is nothing here of interest. No, okay. Go back. Bathroom, two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the wall. Ha images of happy times. Look around. Standard landing, picture frames covering one wall. Um, go to bathroom. Anything in there? You always gotta keep an eye out for secrets. You're in the bathroom, there's not much note, but it's all in good order. Look, maybe I can find the key. The bathroom is clean, the large mirror sits above the sink. Look at mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. <laughs> okay. Uh, go back. Um, if there are only two bedrooms, yours and your sister's, where did the parents sleep? 
It's like one of those like houses in old games where like the parents didn't have a bedroom. Like your character had a bedroom, but no one else that lives in the house has a bedroom. Like like in Pokemon, you know, where you get the hole upstairs and your mum doesn't get anywhere. It must be like that. Um, go to sister's room. Walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you had seen her. Posters of her heroes and some own attempts at art adorn the wall. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgic trip. Look around. There's also a large wardrobe in the corner of the room. The door is slightly ajar. Ooh. Open wardrobe. <laughs> Did I spell it wrong? Uh, open... What was it? Wardrobe? It's empty apart from a pile of scattered photographs at the bottom. Look at photographs. Hey! Achievement unlocked! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Photos of another time. They are all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Weird. Go back. Landing. Go to your bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Look around. It's a standard bedroom, a desk, book grain TV, the usual. Hmm, like the one I'm using. Um look at gift. A large gift wrapped present. The tag says your name. Open gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus two. Wow, 128K. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. You see, this would be like me digging around the attic for my old master system. I still. Uh, I don't think it works anymore. I'm pretty sure whenever you pick it up, it starts to rattle. Uh, that's never a good sign. But um, hey, I've still got it. My hope is that one day find someone who can fix the damn thing and get it repaired. Inside the gift is your own Tattletail doll. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Aren't they making a Tattletail too? Didn't I hear that? Oh, I'm going to have to look that up now. Need to remember that. If they are working on a Telltale 2, I will play that. Because Telltale was one of the few indie horror games that actually got to me. Like, I don't know how, but there was something about just the way it was presented for some reason actually got to me. Like I was tensing up into like a little ball in my seat. It was really weird. Presented to continue. Anyway, your old bedroom, so many good memories in here, it's been preserved so well. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus 2 computer. It's a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up, though. So, we're playing a game that has us going into a house and finding the computer and the game we're currently playing on. Okay. You know, yo, dog, I heard you liked retro games. Uh, uh, set up com computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Um, insert game. No, um, play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. Yeah. Okay. Ah, now comes the spooks. Bullets to drive over the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check out the glove box before going in. 
You can't stand to be near the place. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. He says, get out, 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 get out. Get out the car. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Right. Okay. Okay. Get out the car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all the happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. The lights are off. Windows are broken. There is a front door and a yard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around you. There's no gonna change. Oh, it does. Gibberish. I wonder if you put that into like some kind of, I don't know, hexadecimal translator or something, you end up with some kind of, I don't know. No generator next to you. Generator. <sighs> the old generator can supply power to the house. Um, generator. Ha! <laughs> nice. Oh, look at the pictures. They've got like marks across the eyes and they're all kind of dirty. That's nice. <laughs> nice. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Go to front of house. You go back to the front of the house. Um. Go inside. Door appears to be locked. Ah. Unlock door. You unlock the door, the click of the lock hurts to hear. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compelled to read it over and over. No. Oh. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Ew. Uh, turn on light. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect. Or worse. Red. Turn up an alarm clock for someone else in the house it can't be. <laughs> wow, that works. <laughs> oh. You're still in the hallway, the noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house, they should not be here. There is a kitchen and living room adjacent, stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. Can't read the note, it's bleeding. <laughs> okay. Go to kitchen. You go to the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. it seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood. Read writing. Whoa. Blood. The number 1986 is smeared across the wall. And I just got an achievement, 1986. Fair enough. Um, lovely. Look at it. Arcus? Oh, it's got two S's. Look at Carcus. You look closer but can't tell what it is or what it was. Oh, no. Um, uh, go to util util Utility. 
Door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Hmm. Go back. Go back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. You're still in the hallway. No one has stopped you, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen living room adjacent stairs leading up. Go to living room. The living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pity of your stomach. This is not a nice place. The note, always changing, now reads. Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Huh. Oh, I didn't check the note in the kitchen. Let's sneak back into the kitchen and check the note. See if it says anything different. Uh, go to kitchen. This took a bit of a turn. I was actually having fun. I actually forgot for a split second this was supposed to be a bloody horror game. Paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Oh dear. No. In fact, you have to sit through. You can't speed it up or anything. Trust me, I'm trying. Okay. Um, go back. Shoes are wet. Why would they be wet? I'm not sure I want to know. I can't help but notice it actually says 1986 on the wall over here. Sound design in the game is good. Hey, hello. I don't understand. Neither can we. Answer. Oop. Phone? You hear him answer the phone, your mind hurt, hurts. Voices. Put out the phone into the room. Whoever is, is there should not be there. You hang up the phone. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever, consider the worst. Relief. What? Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Picture of the wall, but something is different about them. Look, look at pictures. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all, like the pictures over here. Okay. Go to bathroom. Go into the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a heaven for all kinds of bugs. Lovely. Look around. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look at mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Hmm. Okay. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Remove boards. Go to your room. Haven't heard that said out loud for a while. The door is bolted shut with a four digit combination lock. Ah, uh, 1986. Oh, um, unlock door. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note is heavier. You grab the lock, you can now input the code. Whee, the lock clicks open. Same but different. I should probably read the note again. In a second. While I'm still in the hallway and before I go into my room. Read note. The note is now clean again. Simply reading, get in, get out. Let's go in the bathroom and read the note one last time. Okay. 
I know it's a bit repetitive, but I keep forgetting about the bloody note, and I feel like I should read that. Go to bathroom. Read note. No, it was impossible to read due to the black oil that now covers it. That was anticlimactic. It's worth a try. Go back. Go to your room. The door is closed. Open door. You open the bedroom door. Go into your bedroom. Bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip your note tight. Well, this just got really meta. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Um, end? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It. Oh, please stop. Stop. It was all my fault. Say it was all my fault. Finally? What? Oh, achievement unlocked, finally. I guess that was the end of part one. <laughs> That was interesting, that got, I mean, that was a bit weird, seemed to, <laughs> I mean, I, from what I understand, all four of these stories are like part of a whole, so if that didn't make sense by itself, stick around, I'm sure we'll work it out by the end. Hey, look, see, look, episode two, the lab conduct. Let's see what's what then. But anyway, yeah, before, just before I get into that, that was actually really good, I mean, that, obviously that harkened back to sort of old school... Uh, type games like the kind you would see Ashen playing on his live stream. Uh, he does like old school games like that. Uh, that's a little before my era. Um, you know, I didn't really uh, get into gaming until. Uh, well, I, I played my first video game in December of 1990. Sonic the Hedgehog, Sega Master System, and I know that for a fact because I actually fucking remember unwrapping the Master System that Christmas. I actually remember it. It's one of the few memories I have from back then, but um, yeah, it's it's uh, it was good fun. We also got another game with it. It was like F-16 Fighter, which is impossible to play. So uh, yeah, we I mostly spent my time playing Sonic the Hedgehog, which was perfectly fine. It remains the game I am today, so can't be that wrong. Anyway, let's get started with The Lab Conduct. Sometimes you may need to look beyond the screen to progress. Hmm. Said that last time, I don't know what it meant. Oh, are we going through this again? Can we skip this? Uh, subtitle, resume. Yep. No, apparently we can't. Nope, we can't. <laughs> I tried! I tried to skip it. You can't. That's somewhat annoying. Don't need to see it every single time. Stories untold. Omar Khan. Right, let's see what we got. Ooh, techie stuff. This is subject. 12, 19, 86, 23, new session entry. 
We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. I guess we that's have me. artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Okay. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. Ooh. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Okay, so they'll tell me what to do when I've got to do it. Bring this back. Okay, it's experiment, manual, oh, M. M for manual, E for experiment. And H is help. Press the keys, bracketed and top menu to move between pages. Yeah, I got that. Press tab to roll over to the test chamber. Oh, so we'd go to, ooh. Cool, that works. Have the chamber use your mouth because to select and interact. Okay. Electromagnetic spectrum X-ray. Light concent concentrated light laser. Acoustic resonance. Drill press. Safety instructions and equipment layout. Subject J1 1986. Mem is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. X-ray, huh? Which one's the X-ray? How do we know what's X-ray? Okay. Um, click on stuff. Oh, I don't think that's the X-ray. Oh, X-ray? Is that it? No, that's probably not it. Hang on. Oh, wait, hang on. X-ray is regular required apparatus. Oh, I see. So, required apparatus. Camera. Monitor set to X-ray. Charge CC86 X-ray device. Okay. Hang on, I can do this. Okay, so yeah, we just have to x-ray. Oh, wait, hang on, equipment layout. Ah, there we go. Oh, so the x-ray is... Right, okay, so that's the x-ray thing we need. Ah, there we go. See, I actually need to look at this shit. Safety instructions, use goggles. Are you sure your next of kin is updated? Yeesh. Let's try look at... Okay, so we need... The camera, the monitor... Camera, the monitor, the TV unit, and the X-ray. Okay. Camera, TV set to X-ray. You need to get turned off. You're the X-ray. Ooh. What happened? Okay. Oh. Good work. The X-ray is coming through now. Ah, we did it! Yay! No visible damage to the surrounding organic material. Is it or no sound of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Hey! Uh, demonstrate subject red laser light on the object. Try low power. Okay, so we need the laser. Which is the bottom one. Okay. Red is 650. We need to turn off the x-ray then or does that stay on? I don't know why that 
that's beeping at me. No, I don't need that. Okay, so what was it? It was 650? 650. 650. So hang on, we need... Try using low powered. Why are you beeping at me? Stop beeping. Oh, hey, look, we can zoom in. That's a bit better. Let me turn you off. that's charging oh there we go ah there we go wait is that a heart didn't look like a heart before no reaction from first stage let's try a higher frequency higher frequency huh okay We need to use the green laser, which is 510. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Do we? Let's keep going. Increase again. Oh, okay. <laughs> To use the blue laser. Okay, I can do this. Blue is four five five. Does someone smell a barbecue? Well, achievement we unlocked. Have. Heart starter. It seems we have a pulse. How is that heart Rhythm beating? Is no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. You, you do know we're experimenting on a heart, right? Test the acoustic resonance properties. Begin with the generating 250 hertz sine wave amplifier gain set to one. Oh god, now things are getting complicated. Okay, so let's turn off the laser because we don't need that anymore. Okay. So the acoustic resonance is... Nope, that's wrong. Nope, six. Uh, acoustic, 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 sync master, signal generator amp, probably these two here then, uh -huh. signal generator, amplifier, set gain, right, okay, so it's those two on that side, Start generating 250 hertz sine wave, amplifier gain set to one. So it's you and you. It's about there. I think that's about one, isn't it? So we want a sine wave, and we wanted what was it? 250 hertz. This could take a while. Success. Uh, amplifier gain of five five hundred hertz sine wave. And drop. Oh no, that's a bit too far. 
it 500? Yeah, 500, okay. I actually feel like I'm doing lab work. Don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but there you go. And two, three, four, five, ding! Hey! Got it. Ooh, that part doesn't look too good. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase? Is there a risk of damage? What about the velocities? Okay, we're gonna push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Okay, what do you want now? Switch to square sine wave, maintaining the current. So, literally just flick that. Oh, that heart's not looking too good. Seeing good activity on this side, seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable hey, or son. dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. What is that? Hold up, manual monitors. Because hmm. they look like heart monitors, which would be ironic. Uh, gain of five, square wave four, up to one kilohertz. So we've got to go up to a thousand, huh? the heart. You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. D I'm going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. What? What do you mean some of this discomfort? Whose discomfort? Protecting casing is off. Proceed to the... Proceed to drill the surface. Switch to on, except camera and TV is switched off. Yeah, well, that much I kind of figured. So off and off. Ooh. I don't think that worked, guys. How do you feel? Don't be scared. We have a situation under control. I don't think you Take do. A few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. I don't think you have this as under control as you think you do. Make contact with the artifact. you remember what god it's a good job i don't suffer from epilepsy hope no one else out there does what what what, what are we doing oh Supposed to be looking at the bloody thing or what? That didn't seem to be doing anything. Um Whoa! I clicked it. <laughs> I was trying everything except clicking on the damn thing. What the hell was that? Ooh. Your 
galaxy now. You have a connection to the entity's inner core. Oh, great. It's like a conscious black box. Transferal process. It can show you its memories. Look into it. Mm. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. anything else out then. You wake up in the cryopod struggling against the gravity. You force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface as it torn a hole in the ship hull. Poison factor spills into your craft. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Get out. The is broken beyond repair. There was wreckage all around. An airlock door is... The airlock door is locked tight and the predetermined will adjacent blinks. Look. And computer. Monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks usable. Use. Use system. You tap the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last reserves. Exit ship. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different, and unlike the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else is high. I don't think this is going to end very well. Just saying. Screw to the damage airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around and see your surrounding by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Look around. Crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flickering on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upward, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Stand up. Um, move. Press my for the down ship. Run. Um, was, um, well, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. It hasn't given me any clues. Look at wreckage. Wreckage around you. Some of this metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Ah. Move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The light that surrounds you now attacks your senses. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure sets out a silhouette and walks towards you. Look at figure. The silhouette is bipedal, bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Probably got to do if I spell it right. Go to figure. Uh. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Oh, gee, thanks. You should be proud of yourself. Here we go again. Wake. 
We were silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional beeping machine. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. We are in a bed, in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent to a display monitor with wires that... We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? Why they drove across when the room in your chest? They have tortured us. Up. Remove wires. Woo. What just happened? What's that alarm? The anchor the wires protruding from our chest. To find out what's going on. Together we all scream in pain, the action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. So this is happening now. Uh get up. Round. We are in bed, in a small artificially lit room with a single door. A sort of writing pinned to the wall. And loosely they have tortured us. Look at writing. Set together a series of flat sheets with symbols across them, some sort of writing. Go to door. Uh, get out of bed. Um, leave bed. Stop. Specimen 20 has left lab 15. It's on the move. My god. That vision. It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. I don't think I can. Through the door, we find ourselves in the room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and the lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Oop. Look around. There's some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut. The other door has an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding on holding Hola. a table holding only a small device taken from your it's my hour ship. Pick up device. Take device. Um go to table. Uh door? Nope. Um, so yeah, that's literally just the same thing. Um, try to go to window, maybe? Device. Pick up device. Hmm. Open door. Um, walk across room. What am I doing? Suppose we can Mr. Asian, it is using you to control the other entities remotely. Please do not continue. You must cooperate with us. Um uh, 
used device. Ah! What is that? We haven't seen that I see. Yeah, one, two, three, four. endings to that one like you could have sided with the aliens or you could have not sided with the aliens I didn't feel like I had a vast amount of choice that was interesting it was a sort of a little repetitive sort of going backwards and forwards with the machine but once I worked it out it actually got really easy I have no idea how the hell that story connects to the first one um I don't know, I feel like there's been tiny little breadcrumbs scattered throughout the whole thing and I just haven't had the chance to put them together yet. Anyway, let's have a look at the station process. Some commands may be case sensitive. Keep a lookout for hints. God, here we go again. Are you absolutely sure we can't skip this? Nope, won't let me skip it. Ah. So these are all the machines from the second one. So all this stuff is actually, these are actually things from the chapters. You've got the TV, the tape player, the games console. Yeah, these are all like objects used within the chapters. That's that's a nice touch. I like that. Station three, do you read me? Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. Ooh, where are we now? Ooh, Arctic station of some kind? Looks like. Come on, three, log in. Quit fucking around. Okay, um, zero, three, zero, three, one, nine, six, eight. Three. There he is. Finally, what took you? Is the microphone still broken in station three? I don't know, is it? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah, you can't reply. Yeah. You should be able to hear Because I'm a silent protagonist. You can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. We can chat later, three. Yeah, this is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? <sighs> well... My fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, 
You need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't mm. fuck it up. Microfilm handbook, huh? These things? Ah, zoom. Zoom and enhance. Okay, three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Transfer broadcast frequency 1930. Oh, okay. Oh, FM. 1930. Ah! So we can just do this, huh? 19. 30 FM. 13, 0, 14, 14, 9, 3. Wait, hang on. 13, 0, 14, 14, 9, 3. Hang on, what was it? 13, 0, 14. 13, 0, 14, 14, 9. Hey! 13, Code word reference abacus. 14, 14, Ab oh, was it this? Abacus is page 6. 14, 14, 14, oh, there it is. Exe space dash D space dash E. Dear God. Sis dot E X D space dash D. Oh. Sis dot E X D space dash space dash E. Allocate so all okate comma two oh two dash A. Thirteen zero fourteen fourteen nine three This is complicated. Output log dash false. Output fourteen. Log. What was it? Output. Oh, output space log false. Three. I got it. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stopped. So I think he did it right. Nice. Next one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. Don't leave them hanging too long. I don't know what they're for, but I know we have to make them top priority, or I'll get shipped. Of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Okay, so we need 3,500. We need USB. 26 14 0 1 2 Gotcha. Chevron. 26 14 0 1 2 Oops, I need to zoom back out again, don't I? 26 right, where's Chevron? 14 0 1 2 Can I go back with the person? Nope, apparently not. 
So ref dot init. Can I turn you off for a split second? Thank you. Ref dot init is an initialization dash w dash z dash w dash z Poo no proc yeah proc begin is in process begin get dot int brackets x y z Get dot int bracket x y z. No. What's wrong with that? Oh, they're fucking capitalized. Oh, very good. Where X is second, Y is fifth, and Z is sixth. Oh, for me. oh Christ, I just need to leave it on. 26 14 0 1 2 26 14 0 1 2 Yay! Thanks, three. Just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Getting the hang of it, huh? Slowly. Next one coming up. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, now this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen, let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last two must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. Just looking at that. Oh, by me, long way to go for this. Oop, too far. And twenty two AM. Rubbish at Morse code. I'm going to have to note this down.
I think I got this. I think it's zero nine seven seven three zero. I think that's what it is. Zero nine seven seven three zero. Catch. Actually, can I turn the beeping off? Shush. Right now, I can think Kansas. Oh yeah, that's right. I rotate. We. Kansas, not canvas. Here we go. Okay. Point dot pkg dot ex. Dot pkg dot ex. Capital point, and then x, and a variable of x. Where X is the largest number from original broadcast, which is 9. So that 9, that. Point up Y, where Y is the smallest number from original broadcast, which is 0. Point dot P, K, G dot E, X, brackets, 0. S A L dash A dash four G S A L dash A dash four G Yes Okay one we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen. I just checked the roster Storage and we were supposed earth. to hear from the supply team three days ago. But I've had nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. What three, earth? can you monitor a range for me? They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supplies for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'll be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight, eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. Is anyone there? 
We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. We have some on board, but it's not enough. We try to turn back, but the storm, or them, have messed with our GPS and sent us straight into the ice. What on earth is he talking about? We're holed up here. We just got word from Central that New York has fallen. What? Everyone's gone there now. I thought us being so remote would give us time, maybe, but I can see it coming. Be ready, all of you. It's 20 to 5. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, too. Three, do the same. Okay. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabin. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. They're here. Ugh! Who are they? Yes, stop playing the pronoun game. Shit, one, there's another GCS signal oh, coming in. Is this in. really do the we, time? Do we process it still? Yeah. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. It was three last time. It's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just process the signals. That's it in. Hello. Yeah, cool. What? My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Okay, I think yeah. I know where these are. They were towards the end of the book. Bravo. Echo. There you are. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. It was 6970, isn't it? Hotel. Right, so 6970. Echo. My. Stop that. Zulu. Sierra. Stop going the wrong way. Why do you always go the. Mm. Bravo. Echo. Close enough. My. Zulu. Okay, so. Hang on. Sierra. Zoom in a bit Hotel. more. Hotel. Bravo. Okay, so. Echo. Fifteen. My. Two. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. S is twenty-one. H is. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Ten. Bravo. B is Echo. four. And E is seven. My. Think I got it. Zulu. I got it. Sierra. Okay. Hotel. Bravo. So it should be 15, two, 21, 10, four, My. seven. Gotcha. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Centaur, is it? Great. Bravo. Echo. My. Why do you insist on always Zulu. rotating yourself? Oh, it's an up or down? Th oh, I thought it was left or right. Hotel. Mm. Bravo. Echo. Oh, it's upside down. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Centaur trash. My. Who? Oh. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Right. 
Capital M dot status. My Zulu Sierra. Shush. Dash R. My parents asked me why I never wanted to become a programmer. Command dot strength dash Z. H dot grid dot W. Capital W. H dot grid dot W. I will say this isn't exactly very horrific, all these puzzles I'm having to do, but I'm interested in what the story is. Like, what the hell is going on out there? Three. There's something... I don't know what I'm looking at. Cabling? Hmm? One, I can see something above three's cabin. One of the power lines down. One, are you there? Where? The fuck? Fuck! What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, One. What's going on? It's above me. Shit, it's above me. It's over Station 3, too. They're here. What's here? Jesus, One, what the fuck is out there? It's fine. It's fine. You'll be fine. What? Shit. Here's another signal. GCS7 equals E1 V5 M1. One, what the hell? It's flashing urgent. Easy. Sacrifice. One, eight, nine, zero, four, Doesn't sacrifice five. back this way. Guys, are any of you walking around in that stall? That's crazy. Nine, You'll get yourself eight, killed. Nine, zero, no one is outside. Four, You're seeing five. things, four. One, eight, nine. Right. So what is it? X. X numbers one, two, and three from the original broadcast represent a longitude. Three. Oh, one eight, Number one station eight, three. This is station four. Do not go outside. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. down station five and getting the fuck out of here they took six station six is fucking gone those things just ripped it out of the ground what what the fuck is going on out there point dot one where Z was what was it authorization word from appendix c Oh what, 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 oh, what the hell was I on? Was it a signal modification was USB? Broadcast frequency... 8150 Process of total broadcast numbers... 
Probably it's less than 30. No, more than 30, no. Alexander. Hey, correct response. Broadcast all launch. Transmitting codes. Three. James. The last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. I think the wind has misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go out to it. I thought they said don't go out. Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. What? Am um, I being dragged? What the hell? And we're up. Okay. Oh, and suddenly the game goes first person? No, I want to go back inside. Let me go back inside. Let me go back inside. I'm oh, fine. Screw you. So apparently it's turned into penumbra. So there's something weird going on, like some sort of I don't know what. Something about cables above me. I don't see any cables above me, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what is going on here. Not necessarily complaining, I Okay, that's the feeling that's supposed to be the point. Here's the thing, these stories are supposed to be one connected story. But I'm not seeing the connection yet, so I'm assuming that's going to be laid out for me in part four. I was expecting maybe like little aha moments where suddenly the story will make sense. But I guess not. Well, there you go then, I suppose. You know why it's so blurry? It's kind of annoying. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. I'm just... It's a pretty linear path, so I'm just following the path prescribed to me. I want to know what the hell is going on, because it, like... It was on about launch stuff. Like, were you guys, like, launching missiles at something, or...? So, I don't know. It was really weird. Like, I can maybe see how the story 2 and story 3, this one, connect to each other. Because, like, the alien things break containment and stuff. But I don't see how that connects to the first story, which seemed completely separate. I'm waiting for a penny to drop here. Hello? Anybody home? No? Can't do anything on that. Oh, right, I see. I noticed the cable on the floor. I wonder what it was. Anybody? Ah. Assuming that means one of them is turned on. What? What? Oops. Clicked out a bit. Sorry. Didn't realize the mouse was loose. I'm waiting for something to happen because I'm like something thumped on the roof of my uh, cabin or whatever you want to call it and I don't know what
Birds. Stretch those legs. It's even unlocked. What's 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 what was with the fog horn? I can't feel my legs, James. Because I, I noticed it, but it was a cutscene, so I couldn't say anything at the time. This character I'm playing as now is the same character. It's Asian. Why does it sound like a foghorn? What are you doing? James, please. So I'm assuming his name is James Asian. So maybe I am, like, He's coming back. playing the same character? I'm coming back. How come I can still hear people? What the fuck, Lord? I hear whispering. Can't be a good sign. He's coming back. Yes, I'm coming back. What the fuck was that? Oh, I saw something. Oh, are they doing the I'm in a coma thing? Is that what this is? These machines, they are your lifeline. Follow them. Please. That's what we're doing. We're doing the whole I'm in a coma thing, aren't we? James, go to them. Tell them what happened. What the fuck? like some weird Cthulhu-esque thing. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god. What the hell? Did someone summon Cthulhu? Fuck, whoa. What? There's like a bunch of them around here. Oh, that's cool. So am I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm in a coma? Wait. Was that? Hang on, let me check the replay real quick. A warm place to be concluded, it said. So, okay, I only saw it for like a split second, but that looks like the room from the first one. Maybe I am, maybe the whole point of this is I'm in a coma and The Last Session, Episode 4, where presumably all my answers will be explained. All, all my questions will be answered, I should say. All my answers will be explained. I have no fucking answers. <laughs> Let's get going. Look around, go to and open commands of your friend. Use them often. Yes, I got that. Here we go again. See, they should change this up. Like, they should make this intro section different each time. That would have kept me going a bit more, you know? But, I think that's uh, enough of that for now. Speak of the fucking devil. <laughs> what on earth are we doing now? You're quite fond of this show, aren't you? Yeah, I guess. Futuro. Wait, Futuro? Wasn't that the name of the keyboard game I was playing? That okay, actually is the house abandoned. Look at that. Let's get you down to the observation room. Observation? Oh, wait, that's the same TV. So, I'm not in a, ho a coma, but I'm in a hospital? This place must be starting to feel like home to you. I don't think so. Don't worry. I'll try and get you out of here eventually. Observation. Quit under stress. Just in here. 
Why am I under observation? Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started. It feels more like an interrogation than a, a hospital room. Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. This is subject 12, 19, 86, 23. 19th of New the December, entry. 1986. We have myself, Dr. Alexander leading, and in a room we have our patient. Mr. James Asian. Who I'm assuming I was playing through the As three whispery chapters. Has recently recovered from a two week coma. Oh, oh so I was in a coma. Accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Your mind, it's like a conscious black box. Oh dear. It can show you your memories. Look into it. Is that back wall bleeding? Because it looks like that black wall is bleeding. Oh, and we're back here again. In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote weather station. You were isolated from the rest of the world, locked inside your coma. We interacted with you daily. Coma, Encouraged central you operations, your method. Your, your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything, really, to bring you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. It's at 5610 no FM. Can't miss it. Fatal accident. That's in Hill Forest Road. Arrived on the scene to discover two cars that had been involved in a near head on collision. Mr. Asian found lying outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was noticed that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle on the passenger seat. Mr. Asian was questioned the scene. He described an oncoming blue s sedan being clearly out of control, which he sought to avoid. Mr. Asian passenger was his sister, the driver of the blue sedan. He's an ex-police officer of 20 years. Ouch. The rest were all blank. That's weird. Okay, so... Oh, okay, yeah, we gotta do this again.
86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. What's that first one? You gotta see this. This is 20F. 12. 20F? 19. 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. You gotta see this. This is 20F. Huh. 12, 19. Okay, I heard you the first time. Report. Wait, what am I reporting? Yeah, I, I get that it's in the report I need. Oh, okay. I think I get what I need to do. 20F-Fatal Accident. Empty Whiskey. whiskey? I don't know, I don't usually have need to spell the word whiskey. And out of control. That worked? Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. 700 FM, huh? Seven hundred, seven thousand. Do you get it, man? It's not like it at all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years, and not once have we even talked about alcohol, drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he caused this. It's him, this Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. What? Oh, now we're in a room. Okay, room apparently. This doesn't make sense to you. No, me neither. Ooh. Oh, it's the hospital. You step out into the hospital ward, only it seems abandoned. Your vision is blurry. Yeah, I noticed that. All of the episodes were recorded on tape. This is the fourth. Sometimes they make you watch your past sessions to see what really happened. He has quite an imagination, Mr. Asian. He seems to be a from the shows he's been watching. This time he described a, an a and &E visit as a government conspiracy, you know, some sort of lab. It's, uh, it's interesting stuff. And it's obviously pure fiction, but I guess it's just his way of coping for now. We'll see how we progress in future sessions. Huh. Keep a healthy mind. It's up, someone else is here. Grab the keys from the table, they weigh heavy in your hand. Today was the first session with Mr. James Asian, although I fear it will certainly not be his last. When asked about events that have happened in the past, he confused fact and fiction <laughs> and told us a story about a computer game that was talking to him. I think he was back at his own house mum and dad's house and he always talked about a room with a red X one he couldn't get in I don't know what any of this means or what it's got to do with the accident but I guess uh, some more sessions will maybe reveal that we're going to try again tomorrow so when I 
uh, clicked on that clean hand thing, I uh, actually got an achievement called Cleansed. We found him lying there sobbing while his sister died in the car next to him. While Hennings died next to him. What the fuck was he thinking? She was still alive when we got to her. If he'd have done something, they could all still be here. So I'm being blamed for some sort of car accident, despite the fact the other guy was drunk because the other guy was a cop? Is that it? Is that the only reason I'm being blamed? You only caught a glimpse of the room. You guess that's why there's no detail here. Oh, it's because it's supposed to be like memories. Ooh, tape. You honestly hey, believe that remember. Hennings was drunk at the wheel and not this little shit? If he wakes up, when he wakes up, I want answers. Until then, you handle it. You write it up. I'm out. The only video they have, some horror compilation, it's trash. She's for visitors, not that you've ever had any. Huh. Sorry, the mouse keeps going out of the screen. At the door you've never opened, you don't know what's in here. Waiting here is dark, you feel a presence right behind you. Nope, no presence. Could have put some sort of jump scare in there and you didn't. Someone breathed on your neck, standing over you. Dread in the pit of your stomach. Yeah, and I can't see a bloody thing right now. That is really bright. Whoa! Okay, we have a 22 year old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for DFib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Oh, hey, I know this. Uh, amp charge full to 10. Amp charge full Come on, 100 10. joules. Charging up full to 10. 100, coming up. Come on. Yeah, I'm going. Should be it, right? Oh, do I need these on too? Oh. Clear. Mm. No reaction from first stage. Let's try higher. 200 joules. Keep the amp charge to 10. 200. Up we go. Five, six, seven, eight, 200 nine. joules. Keep the charge at 10. Let's go. Clear. Ouch. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360, charge full. 360. And... Come on, 360, hurry. I heard you first time. Take me a while to get there, okay? And click. Clear. That's gonna stick. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. You don't have to sound so bloody Please cynical about it. X-ray right away. X oh, X-ray. I remember that. Um, that's you. Do I still have Where are we with that X-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Turn you off, turn you off. Turn you on? I don't remember. What number do we need? Wait, was this the x-ray thing? Gotcha. Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. God. Switch on a drill, please. Oh, I can do that. The drill, please. Yeah, it's on. What am I not going to do? Okay, not that. 
Um. Oh, there we go. Mr. Ishan, you've made excellent progress. You're doing great. You I don't think I have. Oh, God. While we go through the next step. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Ooh, ah. That was pleasant. Hey, where are we? Oh, Christ, we're back here again. The house abandoned. I don't need to know you as Eve. But tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mum, Dad, your sisters, Jennifer, have decided to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. You're in the living room. As usual, you don't recognize a soul. Look around. The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of Mum and Dad. There's a door to the hall. Go to hall. Push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is as welcoming as ever. Only this time, the folks have put a great big banner across the main hall. Half-finished drinks are abandoned on almost every horizontal surface. There's stairs leading up, although the party is firmly downstairs. Go up stairs. As much as you'd love to, you'd promise you'd stay downstairs with the party. No. Uh, look around. Same as ever, stairs, door leading to the living room, and door leading to the kitchen. Go to kitchen. They say all the best parties are in the kitchen, do they? The kitchen is full of people and loud. They are drinking and food on the table. Oh, sorry. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party is in full swing. Dad has cooked a hog roast, which sits proudly on the table, although no one is eating it. What? You don't let a perfectly good hog roast go to waste? What is wrong with you people? Look around. There is a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Look at writing. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Uh, look at wall. Look at writing. Hmm. Now look around. Two room writing on the wall. I spelt it right. Uh, go to Jen. You push through, apologizing over and over to get to Jennifer. You hug, you're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party, she asks if you're enjoying the party. Say no. You tell her you're not having fun, she frowns. <laughs> Tough. She tells you to enjoy it anyway to loosen up. She asks you to get her a drink. Get a drink. You pour her a drink and one for yourself too. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She has a question. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the trip. Say yes. You tell her yes, that you have picked, that you have packed everything with plenty of room to spare. Another hug. Your family has recently gone out of their way to make this trip happen for you. Uh, it might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not fuck up so much. She's going to miss you. You're going to miss her. She walks away. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding, and smiling at the approving faces. There is so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. But first, a drink. Drink. You pour and down another drink. Anyway, anything to move the night along. Look around. The room is full. There is utility room and writing on the wall. Look at writing. Read writing on the wall. Go to utility room. You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where Dad keeps his fine wines and whiskies. Ceiling to floor racks. A collector, although he doesn't actually drink them. Although he does actually drink them too. There is a bottle with a ribbon around it and card. Look at card. You pick up the whiskey in the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we are so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25-year-old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. Christ, how much is this guy guzzling down? 
With the whiskey in hand, you take the room ar ab around about you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drinks in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. You head back to the kitchen, clutching your new best friend. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to dad across the room. He nods and winks. Thank you, dad. He tells you he's proud of you and to go easy tonight. Early flight tomorrow. Busy and noisy. We'll need to find somewhere quieter. Mm, go to hall. You go back out to the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. What? Staring straight at you, no one else notices. Talk to Jen. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Walk away. Uh. I'm sorry I don't understand. Um. Go to kitchen. Oh dear. Sorry, I don't understand. Help! <laughs> oh. Hi there. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. She's charming. You're standing in the hallway. Something has stopped you in your tracks. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. Those words echo. Say no. Um, talk to Jen. Yeah, yeah, we can talk in the car. Go get your keys. I don't want to drive drunk. Say no. Oops. Say no. no. Damn it. Look for keys. You need to look for them. They must be either in the kitchen or in the living room. Go to living room. You're sure your keys are in the living room. The living room has a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. Various guests sat in the chairs, having civilized conversations. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mum is pouring a drink. Drink at the drinks cabinet. Look around. A coffee table, a drinks cabinet, and one of the chairs is overflowing with jackets and coats. Look at coffee table. Drinks on coasters like proper civilized people, you can't see your keys. Talk to mum. Tears immediately start to appear in her eyes. My son, off to America. She gives you a hug. Oh, well, is this set in England? Hug a mum. No. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, ask about keys. Um, look at coats. Wasn't there something about coats? You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. Hey, I found them. You grab both. Grab both. Oh, the coat and the keys. Go to the hall. Keys in hand, you head back to the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She is working in the morning and no one else is in any fit state to drive. I'm not in a fit state to drive. Well, James is in not, not in a fit state to drive here. Like, what part of don't drive drunk do you people not get? Get a fucking taxi. You can handle it though. You know where I'd like your back of the hand, don't you? No. Stay 
stay home. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. Leave. You open the front door and walk out. The freezing night. The cold air hits you. You're glad to have your jacket with you. There is a dusting of snow around you as you step down from the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits at the front of the house. Go to yard. She sighs and comically taps her feet. Apart from little lights, I wonder if we can turn the generator off. You used to love stargazing energy. Someone around the dark is under the perfect spot, taking the majesty of the night sky. Stargaze. Hmm. Look at stars. You gaze up at the night sky. For some reason, you don't recognize any of the star patterns tonight. Uh, look around. Trust your generator is here working away. The sky is majestic. Turn off <laughs> generator. I wonder if it'll let me do it. Well, that would be a hilarious prank. You think better at punching the house into darkness. Spoil sport. I could have got an achievement for that. Um, go to front. Jennifer looks relieved as you head back around the front of the house. No. I was going to say getting car. <sighs> Get in car. Fumble with the car handle, confused until Jen tells you maybe use the keys in your hand. Yeah, this is a good sign that it shouldn't really be driving. Unlock car, from the keys, you eventually get the door open and climb in. <sighs> the car is freezing. As you fumble around with your seatbelt, your sister opens up the car glove box and hands a note and key that was inside. She tells you it's for when you return. Read note. Note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, we hope you enjoy your break. You need to fire up the generator around back to get the power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Go. Drive. God doesn't move you in the air. Look, I've never had to be this specific before. Turn on engine. Try to turn on the ignition with sheer willpower just by holding the keys. Put key in ignition. It takes a number of attempts, but you eventually turn the key in the ignition. Turn on car. Hey. I, I, you know, I think this is deliberate. Like, it's forcing me to go through all the specific actions of driving a car because I'm drunk. Or, you know, because my character is drunk. And I'm supposed to be specifically going through all the actions for it. Drive. The car squeals, but stays stationary. Oh, for goodness sake. Release. Break. That's the wrong kind of break. <laughs> you very hesitantly release the handbrake. Now we can drive. Put the car in gear and pull out of the driveway. Like a first time driver, you really shouldn't be driving. I know! You, I am driving very drunk on the road towards town where your sister stays. Jen started dozing off as soon as the journey got going. This shouldn't take long. You come to a junction, you still can't remember. Is it left or right? The road goes off to the left and the right. You can't remember which way to go. The roads are quiet always. Um, go left. You don't want to, but you better ask Jen. Oh. Ask Jen. Oop. She runs and throws around to the left. It's left. Of course it's left. See, I was right. Go left. Turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you're on the right road now, you loosen up and put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine rules at your command. <sighs> Jen sits up in the chair and clutches your arm. She's asking you to slow down. Slow down. That's not what really happened, though, is it? You're all over the place, James. Pull over. Jane, Jen is hitting your arm and yelling at you. Crazy sister. Strange. There's a set of headlights coming directly at you, but really slowly, like in slow motion. Slow down. You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside joins James, the inside. The sake, whole world around you begins to scream. James! Ooh. It was at this very moment 
Wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Go on. Show us what you did. You wake up in the car. Your world is upside down. Your seatbelt struggles against gravity trying to hold you hold you in your seat. An impact into another car is torn a uh, hole in the chassis. Poisonous fumes spill into your car from the engine. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Um, get out. You can't move. Your seatbelt is still in place. Oh. Um, undo seat belt. So, um, unlock seat belt. What? Uh, open seat belt. Struggle? Get out. You can't move. Your seat belt is still in place. Open seat belt. Do I need to look at you? Nope, can't do that. Um, oh, maybe unlock seat belt. <sighs> Look around. The car is broken beyond repair, the windows are smashed, and there is wreckage all around. You are both wearing your seat belts. Um, what would it be? Unlock seatbelt. Open seatbelt. <sighs> Undo seatbelt. Why are you not un accepting any of these? Um, crawl free? No. Open, undo, unlock. Unhook. <sighs> so if I go get out, it says I can't get out because your seatbelt is still in place. Okay, so move seatbelt. What work could it be? Open seatbelt. That I'm spelling that right. Yes. S e a t b e l b l e b e l t. Yes. Open seatbelt, and it's not accepting it. What word am I supposed to use? Um. Okay, hang on. Let me think. You release yourself from the seat, gravity takes over as you stomp on the roof of the car. Who uses it? Get out. You squeeze through the wreckage and fall, and fall to your knees on the ground. Every breath brings pain to your chest, your head is throbbing. Blue car smashes into the passenger side of your car, your life cannot be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note, and flashing lights are approaching the distance. Crash site. Smoke billows from the crashed cars to the sky above. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Throw whiskey. You can't just toss this away without thinking. They will find it and they will come to you. Hide whiskey. Well, that's not smart thinking, James, is it? They will eventually find it and link it to you. Look at wreckage. Um, look at 
car? What the hell is that? Which car? The other blue car? Look at blue car. Has the lights are blinking, fumes are rising from the engine. I can barely read this. Through smash windows, you can see the motionless driver. Look at driver. It's an older man. His body is slumped and his face is bloodied. Um, put whiskey in hand. That's not smart thinking, James. Is it? They will eventually find it. And they will oh, put whiskey in his hand. Nope. Um, I think I'm understanding where this is going, though. Um, look at man. Not a man, please. Look at hand. Whoops. Look. Look at hand. Put whiskey in blue car. What good is pouring it out here going to do, James? You still have the bottle. Put bottle in blue car. Trying to work this shit out is so irritating sometimes. Uh, la 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 la. Give bottle to man. Place bottle with man. I'm not trying to pour it. Give bottle to man. Did I try that? I think I tried that. Um. Hide bottle with man. Hide bottle in blue car. Go to blue car. Door is jammed. You don't have time for messing around like this, James. Um, go to man. Go to old man. Can't do anything with that. Um, standing on whiskey. Dad's note. Drink whiskey. And James, if you drink this now, you're going to get what's coming to you. Um, poor whiskey. what I'm supposed to be typing here. Um, I don't understand what I'm supposed to type. I know what I've got to do. I don't understand what I've got to type to get this thing to do it. Look around. Crash sites and smoke bills, crash cars, the sky above. Zero lights flicker on and off. Look at car. Look at your car. There's no going home in this. The symbols and writing on the car are very visible anymore. Look at blue car. It has lights blinking and fuse right from the engine. The smash windows you can see a motionless driver. Look at driver. An older man, his body is slumped, his face is bloodied. Give driver bottle. <sighs> Give driver whiskey. <sighs> Give. Give driver. Who's? I don't know what you want from me. Help! 
Any suggestions? <sighs> Hide note. So I think James is it there will eventually find it. Um, destroy note. sister from car. What the hell? I got a type. I know what I've got to do, but I can't seem to get the thing to go to blue car. The door is jammed. You don't have time for messing around like this, James. Go to your car. There's nothing there. Can help you in there. You need to fix this before the police arrive. Um... Hide bottle in blue car. Use bottle on car. I don't understand what I've got to do here. Well, no, I understand what I've got to do. I don't know what I've got to type to do this. This is so frustrating. I was having a really good time and now I just cannot get this computer to acknowledge what I want it to do. Um, use whiskey on blue car. Door is jammed, you don't have time for messing around like this. Open blue car door. What car? I said blue car. Ah. Blue car, nope. Open door. Blue car. Nope. Op open blue car door. It just says what car? Open blue car window. <sighs> open whiskey. Yes, good, James. What exactly do you want to you do with the f <sighs> Give to man. <sighs> Give whiskey to man. Use whiskey. Hide in blue car. Is it they will eventually hide whiskey in blue car? Oh. That was fucking stupid. That was really fucking stupid. I tried that a half a dozen freaking times and it didn't work because I hadn't said use whiskey first. If you've got the logic there, you should be able to skip to the end. With the lights approaching closer, you begin to hear the thrill of the sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You key the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then very deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents onto the driver, and you toss incriminating evidence to his passenger seat. A circle of flashing lights surrounds you, illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of police, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Many blue flashing lights are causing the 
pain in your head to be all the more severe. Look at the person. Silhouette is a police officer in uniform. He beckons you to approach. Go to officer. As you approach the man, the pulsing lights around you got dimmer and dimmer while the pain in your head increases. You fall to the ground at his feet. I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. <clears throat> It was all your fault. Gee, thanks. And I'm sure Jennifer had no blame. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at you now. Utterly consumed by it. Say it, James. Say it. Tell them. I do have to wonder. Listen to yourself. And I'll get into this once I'm done. It has to end, James. Do you not understand? This episode you're having must come to an end. Stop, make it stop. We remember. Walking around, there's always watching me right stop there. I don't need to know if anyone else is. Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Hishin. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect they'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. Come on. Let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm assuming is it. I don't think there's like some secret fifth chapter as far as I know there are just the four. So, final thoughts. Very interesting, very different way of telling a story, like obviously very narratively driven. Uh, really just a collection of like little mini games with some loose vague story just sort of scattered across. I will say that last section frustrated the fuck out of me because I was actually typing the right thing. But because my character hadn't made the logical leap that I had already made, the game wouldn't let me jump ahead. On the one hand, I understand why they did that from a storyteller standpoint, like from a narrative standpoint but from a gameplay standpoint that was a really really bad decision because it left me literally fumbling for like 15 fucking minutes trying to find out what I had to do and I'd already done it but because it needed step one and I'd already used my brain to jump straight to step two and it's just a little a little a little frustration there and I, that's that's a shame because I feel like that's souring what was otherwise actually a pretty enjoyable experience. Now in terms of the story, from what I understand, James had the car crash. Her story's told. It's just the, the achievement there. So yeah, 
you know, James Asian had this car crash. Excuse me, and you know he was he was driving drunk, and you know he killed his sister. He killed this other guy who turned out to be a cop. And then he tried to pin the accident on the club. My my, fir- my first question is this: Wouldn't they have performed a blood test on James Asian? I get that he was in surgery, but they would have tested his blood to see his alcohol levels, because that's practically automatic in a fatal car crash. You have you know breathalyzers and blood tests. You know, obviously he was in hospital; he would have been recovering, but the doctors would have given. A blood test, it would have shown he had a high alcohol level. So why we needed to go through all this rigmarole to get him to confess would have been unusual. Because they could have just blood tested the other driver. I would question that. Fine, okay. The other thing I would say is everyone around James in his world was 100% convinced of his and his of his guilt and his guilt alone like he heard his sister's voice telling him that he was solely responsible for those actions to which i would have to say i think the sister had some blame there yes james carries a good chunk of blame he should just have said no but i think it's very unfair that everyone in his life was singularly blaming james you know now it's obviously not the fault of the officer whatever the hell the guy's name was i can't remember who hit him innocent victim but jennifer had some blame there and i think it's a little unfair that everyone in his life was saying it's james's fault and no one else's just because he was the one who had the crash Mm. anyway ignoring that uh and you know i i I just said there's a few plot holes here or there but that's that's fine all in all this was actually kind of fun um not like amazing you know i I wasn't exactly flawed by it It really was just a series of mini games i actually think the house abandon portions were the most fun like that first little text adventure thing it kind of reminded me of event zero which is a really really fun game Uh, i enjoyed playing that when uh back when i let's played it so it kind of reminded me of that, and I I, uh, I got a kick out of that. I thought that was quite fun. That was enjoyable. Uh, aside from that, yeah, not much to say. It's, it's an enjoyable game. Not too bad. Maybe a little... I can't remember how much I actually paid for it now. But um, probably a little pricey for what it was, I think. I could, be, I, could, I could be wrong. I actually can't remember, so maybe it wasn't very pricey. I probably bought it on sale anyway. Um... Because I remember it was a few months back now when uh, everybody else was playing this. Because you had like, there was Markiplier, there was Jack, and there was GT Live. I think all played this around roughly the same time. And uh, a lot of people were saying, hey, that was a really good game, you should try playing it. So I did. Um, So yeah, I'm always a little late to the party, but that just tends to be how I roll. But I had fun with this. This was fun. As I said, a few frustrations... And a few questions for the story, but aside from that, pretty uh, pretty competent. I think, really though, what you would probably need to do if you were to like take this a step further is make there a little more continuity between the the mini game sections. Like up until the fourth session, there was almost no connections between them other than the main character was called James Asian in each one. You didn't find that out in the first one, but the second and third one obviously it was him. There was there was this occasional teasing in the third one, but for the most part they all felt a little too separate. So um yeah, you know you could pull the mini games in, make them a little more connected and like find a way to actually you know could just connect them in bigger ways i think i think that's that's the important thing that would probably be better but all in all i did have fun with this thank you all for watching everybody i do hope you have enjoyed this and i will see you all whenever i next see you take care out there everybody bye bye